Arian's actually working hard for that rear naked choke. It, it could be. Yeah, it's under the chin. Forced to tap too tight. Arian Zeki. After going 2 0 oh and closing out 2017 with an electrifying submission win, Arian Zekvi was looking to make a run at the title, but a hand injury kept him out of the cage for over 18 months. But finally, the Albanian one is back. And as usual, he's looking to talk his way into a big fight. I took a year off, a year and a year and a half off. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna whoop this dude's ass. You're gonna get your ass whooped, and then there's five minute rounds and there's three of them. What, you think you're not gonna get finished? I'll be the first person to put him away as a professional. Real talk. After making a successful return to the cage himself at Shamrock FC 313, Escobar looking to finish. He's got that Kamori and deep. Gets, gets the tap. tap. Horacio Escobar is back. I'm here to tell you at 135, my name's Ace the Fighter. What the F? Never one to back down from a scrap. Horatio Escobar is coming to St. Charles to silence the loudmouth Zekvi. If he feels the need to try to fuck with me mentally, you know, there ain't gonna be nothing to hell that I ain't already lived through once. I've done face death too many times to be worried about what he's got to say. Arian Zekti is the king of Midwestern trash talk. This kid looks to get in his opponent's head the minute the fight's announced. He'll bark at you every chance he gets leading up to the fight, and then he brings that same level of pressure into the cage looking to break his opponent. But this time, he's facing Horatio Escobar, and he just doesn't give a f Horatio Escobar is violence. Escobar's looking to finish any chance he gets. It doesn't matter if it's by strikes or by submission. Who will come out on top and continue marching towards the belt? And who will be sent plummeting down the division rankings? It's been a long time coming. I've been derailed, denied, delayed, and I feel like this is my time. By the time I'm done this year, you'll know who I am. Both of these fighters are known to break their opponent's wills. But I beat you into the ground and just trample over you. Everyone in the crowd will be like, God damn, this wasn't even fair. Hey, I just want to let you know, July 13th, St. Charles, the marathon. I'm going to come see you, mother What's up? I'll see you later, Beyonce. It's Arian Zekthi versus Horatio Escobar in the main event of Shamrock FC 320. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is our main event of the evening as Arian Zekthi takes on Horatio Escobar. Our title MMA keys to victory, Arian Zekthi. He's got to weather the storm that is Horacio Escobar. He also needs to be very technical in his striking. And it, when it goes to the ground, he has to be in control of that top position. For Horacio Escobar, he has to keep the pressure on Arian Zekthi. He needs to be the bully. And then he has to control the positions and where this fight goes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Horacio Escobar. Coming to the cage by way of Kansas City, Kansas, by way of Long Beach, California, it is Horacio Escobar. Now, Horacio comes to us from the shoot -a box Academy in Kansas City and is coming off a win in his last outing over Drake Heightfield by a Kimura in only a minute and 44 seconds. If Horacio can keep the pressure on Arian Zekti, it's a whole different ball game. Absolutely. The way you beat people is by putting pressure on them. And that's what Horacio is, is best at, is putting that pressure on going forward. He's got to make it ugly. But the thing is, Arian is very awkward, moves Dominic Cruz-like. He's very tricky to get a handle on. Now, all of the wins that Horacio Escobar has is all via stoppage. He has never made it to a decision. And that, that, that has to play big. Yeah, it makes me wonder how his gas tank is, but at the same time, he may have a full gas tank, he just doesn't need it. And his opponent, Arian Zekti. It is the Albanian one, Arian Zekti, from St. Louis, Missouri, via Albania. 
He was on a two fight win streak until that car accident and the broken ham sidelined him for over 18 months. But he said, it doesn't matter. The cage rust is not a thing to me. I agree with that. I think the cage rust is not a real thing to him. Some people it affects, but I do not think it affects him. Arion, to me, is the real deal. He talks a big game, he backs it up. And to be quite honest with you, Jeremy, I sparred with him before. He fights at 135 pounds. I attempt to fight at 185. And I'm not going to lie, the kid can piece me up. He's fast, he's good, he's awkward, and he hits hard. As we go to our Supplement Superstore's tail of the tape for our main event this evening, Arian Zekti, 26 years old, 5'7", 135.8 pounds. Horacio Escobar, 37 years old, 5'5", 135.8 pounds. Following this bout, we're headed downstairs for the official Shamrock FC 320 after party at Amerisports Bar. We'll see you in just a few minutes, but right now, ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. This is tonight's main event. Three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships Bantamweight Division. This main event is sponsored by First Form. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Metro by T-Mobile Blue Corner. An MMA professional with a record of five wins, two defeats. He stands five feet, five inches tall. Official weight, 135.8 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Kansas, by way of Long Beach, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Horacio Escobar. Across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the Metro by T-Mobile, red corner. This mixed martial artist holds a professional record of three wins, one defeat. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. Official weight, 135.8 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, by way of Albania. The Albanian one, Arian Zek. Referee Dwayne Bess has the call for our main event this evening. Right, this fight is three five-minute rounds room. in the Shamrock Protect FC bantamweight division. Obey my command at all times. Touch gloves if you want to. Let's get it. Ah, here we go, Adam. What I noticed is they both have very calm demeanors. I wonder if that means the storms are brewing. I mean, both almost just jumped across the cage. <laughs> Touch of the gloves and into the action. Zekti takes the center of the cage. You can see that Zekti's a little bit more move, a little bit, got a little bit more movement going on to where Escobar's kind of standing still and ready to just start throwing some heat. Escobar is a big fan of changing stances. He's a big fan of changing stances. I mean, let's be honest, they both are oh, going to change stances. Oh, nice overhand. Big leg kick by Zekti. Here's what Arian does so well, is he, I mean, he twitches a muscle and it gets everyone to bite on it. Oh! Little Escobar, slip there. Escobar clipped him. Nice stuff of the takedown. That makes me wonder if Arian's hurt a little bit. Arian trying to drive forward here. Escobar, I think, inadvertently grabbed the cage a little bit. Right here, what Arian's gonna try to do is use his wrestling background to slow the fight down a little bit. I think that I think that, that punch might have clipped him a little it bit. It may have. But here's where Arian's so good, is he's smart. He knows what to do. His fight IQ, as they say, as he's lacing up those legs, Escobar doing a good job of trying to get free. Escobar trying to get his back on the cage here and start to walk up. Zach Fidel looking to Taking take the back. back. Escobar almost gave it to him, might have made a little bit of a mistake. Got one hook in, kind of in a weird position here. Trying to get that other hook in, just trying to keep control. Zekti riding a little bit high now, it needs to soften him up a bit. Yeah, I don't know if he's actually trying to ride the back or just keep a position. Escobar fighting those hands. Nice right hand there. Arian's gonna try to use his wrestling to drag this fight back to the, ca to the canvas. Nice Big knee. knee. 
those knees right there, are, are, they, they become extremely annoying, and you feel them later in the fight. Arion showing us a power with a big slam right there. That's Arion's wrestling background right there coming through. Zek, the inside control, you're trying to trap that arm. Escobar looking for the Kimura, that far side, let's go. This is one of those, those situations where Arianne's working very, very systematically and conservatively, and Escobar is kind of working real hard to try to get up. So I think Arianne might be trying to wear him down, see where that gas tank's gonna take him. But right here, Escobar's giving him a heck of a fight trying to, trying to keep him down. Yeah, Escobar fighting those hands, doing a good job of it. Zekthi working the body lock, trying to soften him up a bit again. See, Zekthi's gonna throw those, those little shots like that, but I think you can, hit, you can hit Escobar as hard as you want. He doesn't really care. Escobar's doing a great job right here, getting back to his feet. Zekthi trying to make Escobar carry all that weight, but big elbow there. Again. Zekthi scoops him up for a big double leg. Yeah, but what that does, that takes a lot of energy, Jeremy. Zekthi working that head position. He's landing a couple good shots right here, but what, what's kind of deceiving is Escobar's hit him with a couple little like back elbows, kind of the back of the tricep there. Still causing a little bit of damage. Big hands there out of Zekthi. But here's the thing though, here's the thing. You could hit Escobar a thousand times. Zekti again drags him to the ground. A minute, a minute left, Jeremy, and this has been all Zekti. I think Horatio had about a, a 10 second spurt there where he clipped him with a little punch, but Zekthi's kind of uh, Zekthi, adjusted. Yeah, he's just out-wrestling Escobar at the moment. That's really what this is, is just out-wrestling, out-grappling. Out 30 seconds here in the first round of this three-round main event. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner, Adam Sella, live from Ameristar Casino in St. Louis, Missouri, Shamrock FC 320. I don't want to see Arion go for another big takedown, a big slam here. I think it's going to be. It's uh, got to be killing his energy. It does. Zek, oh, oh there, he a falls nice into guillotine. a potential guillotine. He's on the wrong position, wrong side. Actually, Horatio's on the correct side. Yeah. For what he needs to do, but I just don't think he's going to get it. Yeah, too, too short a time. If you were in the corner of Arion Zekthi, what advice are you giving him? I'm gonna tell him to try to get that fight right back right back down to the ground. Uh, he tasted a little bit of Escobar's power, and I don't think he liked it, because I believe that he was stunned a little bit. And then once he got him on the ground, it was just a one-way train train ticket there. Yeah, as we look here at our instant replay, we see Zekthi controlling that top position, landing a lot of little rabbit punches doing some damage. Yeah, those little punches are not gonna hurt Escobar, but what they're gonna do is win the round. Your main event sponsor is First Form Supplements. And don't forget, immediately following this fight, downstairs we go to the official Chicago FC after party at Amera Sports Bar and Grill. Arian said he wanted to finish this in the second, so let's see what happens. Let's see how that ends up. Touch of the gloves into the second round. Zekti going southpaw there. Overhand was a little bit wild, kind of hit on the wrist. Inside leg kick from Ruskabar. Nice left hand. I'd like to see Arian throw that left hand right into a takedown, get this down to the ground where it's, he's, he's got a clear advantage. Nice. Good duck under there. Nice little, little I, I'm not really sure if that's like a peek out or what that was. It was pretty. More like a, just like a pass by, you know, right. he didn't really have. <laughs> that was a cool transition. Good, good way to put it, Adam. <laughs> 
Zekta here getting him on the cage, keeping that heavy pressure, not letting Escobar have an inch. But see, here's the thing. Arion gets these takedowns and Escobar gets right back up. Now, obviously in the judges, Arion's winning with the takedowns, but he's gotta be telling himself, what do I have to do to keep this guy on the ground? Escobar just gritty and as tough as they come. Absolutely. And that's what makes this fight so intriguing with all the talk leading up to it. Arion, you know, said he's, he's like, I'm gonna break this guy. I'm gonna finish him. I'm gonna be the first guy to finish him as a professional. Zekti controlling the ground game here. And you can see he's got his forehead dug right in his chest. Big oh, elbow. Nice elbow by Arion, but oh. created a scramble. That's, that's what Escobar wanted, try to get up. Oh, no! He spun, oh, I thought he spun him onto his back. Big elbow there by Escobar. Zekti trying to out-wrestle him, trying to get back to that top position. Now he's got him in the middle of the cage. I don't know who this is gonna be better for, Escobar or Arion, because they both were using the cage uh, to their advantage. Then that cage can be such an advantage. Escobar going for a... Uh, Looking for the Kimura again. What he should do is pump off with that left leg and go for that Kimura sweep. Try to create a, create space. I don't think you're going to get the sweep. That's a pretty basic move that Arion's keen to. But it's going to create some space, which could create a scramble. Nice bump there by Horacio Escobar, but Zekti takes him right back down. And see, this is kind of putting Escobar in kind of a bad spot. Yeah, he's trying to get up, but with all the action that's happening, Dwayne Best is not gonna stand these guys up. At all. But I've been in that situation where I've been in fights where I got taken down and I just held the guy until we got stood up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Arian's, Arian, he's busy, he's staying busy. As soon as there's an opening to punch, he's punching. Yeah, Arian is doing a great job of continuing to work here. Escobar's got that, he's, he's almost like he's trying to set up like a guillotine. As tight as Arian is though, he's only he can get would be an arm in, which is gonna be hard to finish. Now those legs are laced, his hips are off the ground. Alrighty. Zekti has such good control here from the top position. I see Arion take a page out of Chris Craig's book, start throwing from knees to the body when he's got him down on those that referee's position. Escobar doing a good job trying to pry up on that face with the with the uh, with the palm. Arion doing a basic duck walk over there to get that takedown secured. Zekthi maintaining very good top control here throughout this. You got about 30 seconds left. Escobar has been right out, rode out this entire round. You know, I would, I would have to say that what's probably gonna happen is they go to the third round, and Horacio, what he's gonna have to do, is he's gonna finish. Have to come out with guns blazing. Yes. Which he is very capable of doing. But on the flip side, if you're, if you're in Arion's corner, you're telling him, hey, he's coming out guns blazing. What I'm gonna do is time that takedown. Zekthi maintaining great back position here. I think Horacio might have just punched himself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did. I do too. It was right when the bell rang. Yep, he, he just kind of, oops. I want to hit something. <laughs> you know, you got to do it. <laughs> yeah. Third and final round. So if you are in Horatio's corner, you say, come out guns blazing. Is he down two rounds? I say we take a page out of Masvidal's book with Ben Askren. Just you know, come running across. Because you know Arian's trying to get that takedown. I think you come out and just throw that knee up there. And the worst that's gonna happen is you end up on your back again. Anything you go over, you're still on your feet. You know, it's the same thing Masvidal was saying of what could happen. 
But as you look at the highlights here, the replays, this is the entire second round. With Arian riding out Escobar. Arian doing an amazing job of controlling that position. Both of these guys, a good spring in the step, inside leg kick from Escobar. Yeah, Escobar, you can tell he's got a little bit of uh, eagerness to him. He's coming forward. Arian missed with that overhand left. Big inside leg kick from Escobar again. Yeah, I don't think this is the fight that Arian thought it was gonna be. But if he, here's the thing, Jeremy, is, is he's taken his fight IQ, as they say, and he's adjusted, he's adapted. You have to adjust nice. your game plan. Left hand knocked out the mouthpiece. Arian being the gentleman, said put it back in. Front kick out of Escobar. Escobar doing a great job here of cutting off the cage. Yeah, he's doing those lower inside leg kicks which are gonna hurt. It also starts to bait you that, all right, maybe I'm gonna drop my hand and try to catch one, then I'll come upstairs. Absolutely. Kind of, kind of right there, went to the body, not the head. Oh, head kick. Arian needs to not worry about uh, Escobar's mouthpiece and just start fighting. Dwayne Bess is in there to direct that stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, huge head kick, shin to chin right there. Whoa, he's gotta keep those hands up. That left hook almost clipped him. Zekti's still very light on his feet. Nice left. Big one. Arian's getting a little bit comfortable. I'd like to see him keep his hands up, but that's how he fights. It's very hard to hit. Again, big left hand out of Zekti, shoots. He shoots, but he's in on that single leg. Can Escobar stop this takedown? I don't, I don't, he can stop the takedown. What he needs to do is he needs to just try to break free. He needs to defend the takedown. Arian drives forward, gets the takedown. Not Look. as exciting as the earlier takedowns, but he got that takedown, and now he's just gonna, he's riding him out. Little cut under the eye of Escobar. Escobar took about three solid left hands in this third round. Good top pressure here again as we are halfway through the third and final round of our main event. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner, UFC vet Adam Sella live here on Fight.TV. Arian's just trying to basically climb the tree as they say. He's just trying to climb up, get a little bit higher, a little bit higher. But what he's got right here is he's got, he's got Escobar's legs isolated. You take the legs out of the situation, it's very hard to get up. All you can really do is scoot towards the cage, try to try to wall walk. Put his back on the cage, use it to get up. He needs to do something here about Zachthi's very heavy top game. Yeah, I'm sure right now Zachthi's feeling like he's got a, a I, I'm sorry, I'm sure Zachthi being on top of you, starting to be in, you know, late in the third round, starting to feel like it's a, uh, it's just a concrete block just holding you down. Big elbows there out of Escobar. Exactly with a, a nice takedown, dragging him off the fence. Escobar still trying to get up though, man. He is. He He's is as tough up a, as they come. Absolutely. Zekti trying to isolate that leg in half guard, not letting Escobar move. Yeah, I think Zekti's his last minute. I think he's gonna try to put a statement on it, get this finished, trying to take the back. Escobar's gonna try to get up and start throwing some heat. Oh, he's got both hooks in now. Escobar's got, he's, if, if Escobar can spin right here and get in the, get in the guard, Start throwing some bombs. 
Escobar trying to turn. Arian's got good Zach, control with that left hand. sticking like glue. Yeah, he's got good, good wrist control with that left hand, which is kind of isolating Escobar there. Now he got one hook out. Got about 10 seconds left to get up and, 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 and throw a, a heater. Zach, they're just going to try to ride this out. And that'll do it, Jeremy. That is it for our main event here. A very controlling top game for Arion Zekthi. Absolutely. I think Arion got much different fight than he was expecting. Beautiful fight from the Albanian one here. Showing his ground game prowess. A huge fight here as we look at our instant replay again. Big takedown there out of Arion Zekthi. The ground game control was what this fight was all about. Let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to get our results of our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for all the fighters who let it all go in this cage here tonight. The Shamrock FC family would sincerely like to thank the staff here at Ameristar Casino Resort and Spa St. Charles. They do a fantastic job. We're honored to be here, and we've signed a new deal. We'll be here three times next year. So honored to be coming back to Ameristar. After three rounds, this one goes to the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Judge Travis Buskink scores this bout 30-27, Zekthi. Judge Robin Veal scores this bout 29-28, Escobar. Your third judge has scored this bout 30-27 in favor of your winner out of the red corner, Arion Zekthi! Arion Zekthi with a split decision win here over Horacio Escobar. That was not a split decision, Jeremy. Well, on the judges' eyes it was, Adam, no matter what we thought well, on the cards. One you. judge saw that well, I didn't as, know. Er, as Horatio winning that fight. I didn't know we had Ray Charles wrong. Oh, my with goodness. Him. All right. What a night of fights here at Shamrock FC 320. Adam, we have seen some killer fights tonight. We did. We saw some great fights. The co-main event, I think, stole the show. But a great three-round war for the main event, and that's what these fans come here for. A beautiful night of fights here at Ameristar Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner, Adam Sella. We thank you very much, and we'll see you next time right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.